Hello everyone, welcome back and I'm very much again excited, excited to bring you on board uh, for Android operating system development. Uh, before we get started into operating system development, it is very much necessary to understand what are the uh, minimum requirements. So minimum requirement for this course is minimum knowledge of Android. Obviously, uh, I'll be covering Android in all perspective, but if you know Android with some very basic understanding what is Android whether you have ever used Android based phones and all okay uh, that is uh, good enough or if you have ever discussed with anyone or you have ever um, uh, gone through any kind of Android session or so that is good enough to get started in this course more you know uh, better it is for you basic understanding of operating system this is uh, uh, since we are working into android operating system so having knowledge of operating system is kind of uh, very much needed i'm not expecting you to be very great having very great expertise in operating system but if you understand minimal uh, with your uh, college courses you you know basics of operating system that is good enough to get started and if you feel that you need to uh, to brush up certain things in operating system, I would say that you pause that video wherever you are into this course and go through that operating system concept and come back and continue with the, uh, the further sessions. It is up to you how you want to handle. Everyone is different. Their ways are not same to uh, learn. So you are good to, but these are my suggestions to have operating system knowledge so obviously if you are working into android operating system you need a decent pc you need a, a pc with a minimum infrastructure otherwise it is very painful to work into operating system um, if in case you are here for a short time you are not going to be full time for android operating system development and you don't have any decent PC or computer with these minimum infrastructure which I'm going to ask then I would suggest to have a cloud account also you can have any of the cloud account with this with 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 following minimum infrastructure and there you can do a development I mean operating system development and then that that will also work for uh, so there is no hard and fast whichever makes you more comfortable you can go with it so what do you need you need a minimum of 4 gb of ram i would suggest to have at least 8 gb of ram if possible 16 gb and if it is not so easy for you or if you already have a computer with 4 gb of ram um, then that will also work thing is uh, it, it is going to take longer time and you cannot uh, work in your computer uh, if you are already uh, building Android operating system in your computer. Um, if you if you have four GB of RAM, you need um, uh, swap memory of eight GB. Okay, you can make that. And if you have eight GB of RAM itself, that is much much better. Your uh, build system to go smooth and to take um, decent time. That decent time means it is five hours. 5 hours is considered as not a bad time to build complete operating system come to build complete android operating system so if you have four cores in your pc that is good i mean th that is good enough to start um, eight core is quite good 16 core core is um, like you, know, you have everything 16 core uh, so even if you have four cores in your pc that is good to get started um, so if you don't know which intel processor has this minimum requirement so um, you can consider intel core i5 intel core i5 is good enough to get started and uh, if you have i7 or xenon based um, processor that's good to go if you're purchasing new computer then look for number of cores here because it matters a lot in while while you are working into Android operating system, um, you need decent internet speed. 
so obviously because android is very heavy operating system the source code uh, is not very small in android uh, so it takes i think around um, 50 gb easily you will going to get consume you are if you are going for any kind of internet package i would suggest go for at least 50 gb of package you need more than 50 gb of package in fact uh, over the time so go for it and uh, your internet speed should be decent enough if you are able to stream uh, youtube videos with high quality in your uh, pc or in, through internet then that means that is good enough to get started so these are the minimum requirement for uh, this course uh, welcome again welcome back to welcome again to this course thank you